best barbecue burger, you have to start with a good cut of meat. I got these nice prime rib steaks. I'm just gonna start by giving them a rinse under cold water. A lot of times they're cut with a bandsaw, so there might be uh, bone shavings in here. So just give it a good rinse and then pat it dry with paper towel. Once the steak is washed and patted dry, you can see we got a nice meat to fat ratio. You're looking around 70 to 30%. So this is actually perfect. And we're looking to shoot for the burgers for around a half pound, eight ounces, maybe 10. So this is a little bit of extra meat. Just start by simply slicing it into thin slices. And a good trick is to have the meat very, very cold, fresh out of the fridge. So if it starts to get hard to cut, just pop it back in the fridge. Once you have the beef sliced and the bone removed, simply start cubing, start chopping it, and try and get out these thicker chunks. Place it in a pile, just start going across. After slicing and chopping, you can see that the beef is almost starting to look like ground beef that you see in the store. A little bit fatter chunks because it's not squeezed through an extruder, but now it's time to season. So generous salt and pepper and some garlic powder. Keep it nice and simple. If you have a favorite burger recipe, feel free to use that or your favorite type of bottled spice or barbecue rub. Anything will work. Use what you like to taste to season the burger. Once it's seasoned, just gonna mix all the spices. And because the, the meat's still cold, but we want it as cold as possible, I'm just gonna incorporate the seasoning, toss it into a bowl, and uh, let it sit in the fridge for about five to 10 minutes. The best way to get the same size burgers is by using a kitchen scale. So there's a little shy of a pound of meat it's about 15.8 grams in there. So just gonna make these burgers just a hair under half a pound. 7.8 ounces here. Just using a small plate with a sheet of parchment paper on it and an egg ring to form the patty. If you have a burger press, anything like that, it will be fine to use it. This is just a little easier for everyone to see. And when you put the meat in here, you just kind of want to make it even and get it all in there first. And what got dropped over here. And you don't want to press it in too, too hard. You want to want to press it in first. Got a nice circle. Don't press it too hard. And then just take the egg ring off it. And we got our burger. Nice and loose. There'll be nice, a uh, whole bunch of little air pockets in there. The juices will sit in there, be just packed with flavor. So, just go on and do the exact same thing with the next one here. All right, so it's all in the ring. Just spread it out, try and get it nice and even. And just don't pack it too hard. Nice and firm, but... Good, good. Pull the ring off, just pushing the edges down a little bit. Now you want to place these in the fridge, keep them nice and cold so they keep their shape. Every good burger needs a good sauce. So I'm going to show you Kinger's Secret Beef Sauce. It's simple, four ingredients, mayo, horseradish, Worcestershire sauce, and some black pepper. This is going to accentuate the beef flavors while making it creamy and rich. Once you get it nice and mixed, cover it, place it in the fridge, let the flavors Mingle until the burger's ready. Cook the burgers, I'll be using the Weber 22 inch charcoal barbecue, fueled by Royal Oak Hardwood Lump Charcoal. This recipe can be cooked on any barbecue, and I'll show you how to get everything set up. An easy way to get your barbecue set up is placing the charcoal in a C pattern, about three inches high around the outside of the barbecue wall. Place a fire cube at one end of the charcoal, simply light it up. Once your barbecue's going, add a little bit of wood for some extra smoke flavor. These are hickory wood chips. There's no need to soak them or anything. Just throw them right on. Get the lid on, get the temperature stabilized to 225, and then we'll get the burgers on. With the barbecue coming up to temp and smoking away, it's time to get these burgers on. 
so they're nice and cold out of the fridge so they stay together place them on and as they start cooking the juices in the meat will all help hold them together so get the lid on we'll come back out and check on them in a few minutes after 10 minutes of cooking time sitting just over 225 let's crack it open and take a peek see the burgers are nicely smoking away fire still going smoking get the lid on after 20 minutes here's a quick peek pop these open these burgers are looking good still got quite a bit of wood smoking away it's gonna go in with a thermo pen here hook it right into the middle see where our temp's sitting at Toppings are ready. Let's go get that cast iron skillet fired up on the barbecue. With the burgers ready to sear, take them off, just lift them off to the side, and then spread out the unlit charcoal. Just placing it right on top of the stuff that's already burning. Give that a minute to get nice and lit. Place a cast iron skillet over the hot coals. Add a little bit of butter and some onions. Now as the charcoal heats up, we'll be able to cook our onions, toss the mushrooms in at the end, and when it's ready to sear, we'll just move the burgers over. Them cooking, got the charcoal going nice and hot. So we'll sear these burgers and get them off. Onions are getting a nice color to them. Pop the mushrooms in. Now it's time to sear the burgers. Get a nice crust on the outside. To do that, we got the hot bed of coals there. Simply just move the burgers over. Not the best for visuals, but I would suggest putting a lid on to reduce flare-ups because there is quite a bit of fat in these burgers. So I'm going to let them cook for around two minutes with the lid on and crank it over and flip them over. Burgers are sizzling away and it smells great. Check these out. Woo! Don't those look good? Now it's time for a quick flip. For the one, just going to top it with some cheddar cheese. Some too much cheddar cheese, but who cares? Get the lid on to stop the flare ups, and we'll get these off. Just got the onions and mushrooms in, they're still sizzling away. For the bun, just a fresh bakery style Kaiser with a light toast. After right, another meat. minute, cheese is melted. And these burgers are ready to come off. Let's go get them topped off. For the one without cheese, going for more of a steakhouse flavor. So I got my creamy horseradish Kinger's burger sauce mixed up here. I'm gonna place it on the top and bottom. Just take the burger, you can see it's nice and juicy. It's dripping with juices, that's all flavor. And then just gonna take some of these onions and mushrooms we grilled up. Just top her right off. Boom, that looks good. So again, keep this one nice and simple. Look at that nice juicy burger. Now if I didn't have the camera and was filming, this would all be done a lot quicker. <laughs> and none of this would be on your plate. <laughs> so. so burgers down, classic lettuce, tomatoes, whoa, 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 get on there. 
and a few onions. Top the top bun with some of that burger sauce. Now again, ketchup, mustard, relish, whatever you like to taste. But this nice creamy horseradish just brings the beef flavor out. Mm. There you go. Now check these burgers out, folks. Here's your classic, no smoke, no mirrors, kingers. Delicious cheeseburger. And more for the steakhouse theme. Got that creamy horseradish sauce. Sauteed mushrooms and onions on a delicious local fresh bakery Kaiser. Now the moment of truth. Slice it right down the middle and take a peek. Oh, the juice is just dripping out. Check that out, folks. That is nice, juicy, delicious, not overcooked. Mmm. A little hard to hold here, doing the camera and everything, so. Look at that. Mmm. Let's cut open the uh, steakhouse one. Take a peek at this one. This one's more my style, to be honest with you. I do like lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, but something like this. This one's for me. Check that out. Mmm. That creamy horseradish sauce is just gonna kick it out of the park here. Sorry if my hand's in the way. It's a little tricky filming. And look at how juicy that burger is. Oh, wow. And this is because you're not using the processed ground beef. <laughs> That is real meat, real fat. Oh, that's real flavor right there, folks. Check that out. Oh, wow, that looks so...